What's going on everybody and welcome to another video on tic-tac-toe tutorials on Python. Well, in the last video, we made a function called print board, which we are going to be using to print our tic-tac-toe board like this. Let me show you like this. And in this video, we are going to just take input from the user and we are going to update our game board. Okay, let's get started with that. I'm going to say define input board and I'm going to pass current board and current player and first I'm going to print the current player I'm, to, I'm going to give a tab and then I'm going to say current player is current underscore player that's good now I'm going to ask for input. I'm going to ask which row the user would like to play. Which row would you like to play? And I'm going to then I'm going to ask for the column. I'm going to say input which column would you like to play? Okay, and then I'm, I'm going to change it to integers bracket integer and bracket off okay after this I'm going to update the position of current board I'm going to say current board row and column is equals to current player So I guess that's it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to run this function. I'm going to say input board board comma one, and then I'm going to print the board input. Okay. I'm going to say print underscore board and print this board. Okay. Uh, one. Yeah. I guess let's run this function. I'm going to go for two comma one. No, I'm going to go for one comma one. Okay, one one. Okay, shows the output, but we need the output screen to freeze, right? I'm going to say sys dot scdin dot read line, and I'm going to import the sys module. I'm going to say import sys. Control S and I'm going to run this one comma one. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly what we want. Okay, good. Now we need to tackle some rules to see uh, in tic tac toe. In tic tac toe, uh, we cannot play at a position which is already occupied. So I'm going to check for that too. I'm going to say current board at row column. Is equals to zero if current board at that position is equal to zero then it's going to play else it's going to print this position is already occupied try again And then I'm going to run this function again. Input board, current board, comma current player. Okay. Uh, I'm going to run this program. Let's say, let's say I have to run at a uh, second row and first column. So I'm going to go for two, one. Okay, so it it says this position is already occupied dragon and it runs the function again. That's exactly what we wanted. Cool. Okay, next thing. Uh, see, now there can be some errors too. Errors too. Let's say, what if I enter row and column as four comma four, but the current board doesn't have a position four comma four, so it's, it just cannot run at that position. 
so for that i'm going to use, use try and accept uh, i'm going to say try this and accept uh, index error as e and then it's going to print make sure to enter row or row and column as 0 1 or 2 and then it's going to run the function again uh, okay let me just copy this Okay, one more error let's say let's tackle every error I'm going to say exception as e okay one more thing it's going to print this error here yeah and here I'm going to say something went wrong and it's going to print e then and here I'm going to paste this function this command and we're good to go okay so let's check this I'm going to go for 4 comma 4 okay, so it's asked me to go as or 0 1 and 2 okay this and the error is list out of range okay cool that is exactly what we wanted and I guess that's it for this video that's pretty much it in the next video, we are going to be discussing the win situation, the win cases, the horizontal win, vertical win, and the diagonal wins. And uh, okay, if you like this video, please press the like button and the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.